What's up everyone? Vez here today in this beautiful weather down in Canada here. I mean up here in Canada. It's uh, autumn and it's very awesome. Sunny day, gorgeous to be outside. Leaves are all turning into colors and everything is just very beautiful. So what's going on today? I have my son with me. Come on Eli, you see? Yeta Eli. And we're gonna work together to fix his um, broken SUV. Yeah. Oh. Did you hurt yourself, Stephen Bobo? Papa. Papa. Oh. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Papa. Why? Come on, eat that. <laughs> he, he hurt himself, but that, that's okay. Ça va aller, bébé? Yes? All right. So, like I said, we're gonna fix this guy here. This is his SUV. Hein? Il est brisé ton auto, Eli? Ouais, on va le réparer? Avec les outils? Cool! High five, buddy! Yes! <laughs> so, yeah, he's broken his, uh, his uh, electric vehicle. And um, what's broken here? So, let me show you. That one is good. Perfectly fine. That one... Yeah, it's a four-wheel drive system. <laughs> Don't we all like four-wheel drive? This one is spinning, so I guess the gearbox is broken. Um, this one's fine. This one is fine. So we're going to have to dismantle that gearbox right there. And uh, we're going to do this together. On le fait ensemble, Yes. All right, let's do this. All right. First thing first, Eli, qu'est-ce qu'on fait? On fait la roue. We gotta remove the wheel. So let's just do this. Oh, like this. No, the There you go. Hold on. Impact on. Huh? Huh? All right. Wheel is off. We need to see inside that transmission. I think some broken uh, gears inside. But you know what? With a 3D printer, buddy, we can fix everything. Motor looks good. Your motor is good, son. All right. So let's open that gearbox and see what are the damage. But yeah, it spins without. Yep, yeah, there's something broken. Wait. All right. Let's see the damage let's not lose any screws oh there we go that part <laughs> it's totally broken oh yeah i see it let me remove this two gears all right let's there you go damage right there so we're gonna try to 3d print that one and see if we can fix that so I think the main reason why we got um, a gear destroyed is because I'm running <laughs> a, that's a little upgrade I've made a year ago when I felt my son was ready to go faster. So basically it's a lithium battery, two batteries. So for a total of, um, they are... Uh, four amp hour each <laughs> so big upgrade 20 volt lithium instead of 12 volts so motor are uh, over vaulted over I don't have that English word sorry but instead of running 12 volt they run at 20 volts and with a lot more uh, power delivery because lithium is just uh, more discharge power over a normal PB battery <laughs> but it runs way faster with that and he has a lot of fun and it's been running for months like that so everything's good we're just gonna fix it and uh, we're gonna have fun again
we got the gear and it printed with PACF, uh, PA12 CF, carbon fiber, nylon 12. And it was the first time printing with that filament. So I, I just never tested that filament before. So I was not too sure it would be a good speed printing filament, but it did pretty good at some 200 and 150 at some places. Quality looks good, everything looks good, it printed good. So I think that filament from Polymaker would be an awesome candidate for high speed printing. So now let's take a look and compare with the broken gear. Let's first remove it from. And we have some support to remove. They should come up very easily, at least I, I hope. Um, Maybe not, <laughs> I didn't, well, yeah, it looks good. All right, very good. The support came off easily, at least easy enough. And I think that layer adhesion on that thing is excellent. So let's put them together. This is awesome. It looks exactly the same. Damn, I love 3D printing. <laughs> and if that fixes it, and if it's strong enough, and it... Yeah, it looks super strong. Um, if that fixes it, well, you feel proud when you fix things. I, I, I love fixing things with my 3D printer. And that's what I'm trying to learn to my son is that with a 3D printer and with CAD design, you can do all you want, all your creation from your brain, you can do anything. And that is what I love about 3D printing. So let's take a look and see if that will actually fit on there. Pretty sure it will. So let's just uh, remove that gear a little. I think I actually have to push them together just like that. And now, yes. Awesome, that will do it. This is nylon, so it should last a bit. Um, since it's carbon fiber, it has a little bit of, the, of abrasion. So I hope it's not gonna eat up that gear and that gear. <laughs> if it does, oh well. We know we can print them again. So let me just add a bit of grease to that guy. And we are ready to put it back and assemble the transmission back. And my son can't wait to do it because he likes to race me. I go um, on my lawnmower and he takes his uh, electric car and we do some racing together. So hopefully, that will last and that will work. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine. This is off. awesome. I'm really happy with it. Yes, that's gonna totally work. All right, let's put it back on the car and let's go for a ride. Ah. 